Thanks for the beautiful, beautiful weekend in Omaha. I'm Micah Sale from New York City with a question for Warren and Charlie about what makes a company's price earnings ratio move up relative to other companies in its industry. How can we as investors find company and even industries that will grow their relative price earnings ratios as well as their earnings? And thank you for the wonderful weekend and for sharing your brilliance with the shareholders. Oh, thank you. Thank the, you. The, um, you know, it's very simple that price earnings ratio, relative price earnings ratios move up uh, because uh, people expect either the industry or the company's uh, prospects uh, to be better relative to all other securities than they have been uh, than their preceding view. And uh, uh, that can turn out to be justified or otherwise. Absolute price earnings ratios uh, move up uh, in respect to the earning power of, or the prospective earning power of, uh, that is viewed by the investing public of uh, future uh, uh, returns on equity and also in response to changes in interest rates. And uh, uh, in the recent, well, really the, ever since 1982, but, but accentuated in recent years, you've had decreasing interest rates pushing up stocks uh, in, in aggregate, and you've had uh, an increase in corporate profits, return on equity of American businesses improved dramatically uh, recently, and that also, and, and people are starting to believe it. So uh, that has pushed up absolute price earnings ratios. And then within that universe of all stocks, when people get more enthusiastic about a specific business or a specific industry, they will push up the relative uh, PE ratio uh, for that stock or industry. Charlie, you got anything? Yes, I think he also has. How do you forecast these improvements in price earnings ratios? That's your, that's your part of the question. <laughs> <laughs> Around here, I would say that if our predictions have been a little better than other people's, it's because we tried to make fewer of them. We, we also try not to do anything difficult, which ties in with that. Uh, we, 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 uh, we really do feel that it's, it, you get paid just as well. You know, this is not like Olympic diving. In Olympic diving, you know, they have a degree of difficulty factor. And if, if you can do some very difficult dive, the payoff is greater if you do it well than if you do some very simple dive. That's not true in investments. You get paid just as well for the, the, the most simple dive as long as uh, you execute it all right. And there's no reason to try those three and a halves well, you get paid just as well for just uh, diving off the uh, side of the pool and going in cleanly. Um, so we, we, we looked for one foot bars to, 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 to step over rather than uh, seven foot or eight foot bars to try and set some Olympic record by jumping over. And it's very nice because you get paid just as well for the one foot bars. <laughs>